All right, so you're kind of a stick. Best score ever was 62. Tell me, when you're playing well, what's the shot shape that you're hitting? A draw. You're hitting a nice draw? Yeah. When it goes haywire, what are you seeing? I block it. Just a block? A block, and well, this year it's a little different. Most of, I was hitting a hook last year, but I just made one little change and more. Now it's just leave it out to the left. What was the little change that you made? I just slid my thumb down the shaft a little more. Okay. It's almost like it neutralized my top hand. Okay. So the, the yeah. face isn't turning over like it that used to. Much. I, I got you. now, even with my driver, if I try to really turn it, I don't hit that hook anymore. Okay. Yeah. So I, 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 I noticed with your swing, it's, it's a very good swing, right? But it is a little bit more in the armsy handsy side. It's not really a body mm -hmm. movement, right? Your arms get disconnected from your body. You throw it, throw the club through impact. And you do get a little bit under plane, mm -hmm. right? Um, That's where that comes in. Sure. When with a player like you, though, I mean, I kind of I give suggestions and let you make choices how you want to go about what you want to go about doing with your swing. But I do notice everything's under, and there's not as much. I take it you don't hit the ball quite as far as some of your peers that are shooting 62 either you're yeah, probably a little bit behind. a little behind yeah yeah so i if you're that good it's not a massive no no Jeffrey, no. it's it's just that little bit though mm -hmm. like so, i told him it's the more of it like i had a spine injury yeah I, like i stopped from maybe getting that to that through sure right. okay so that would check out do you do you still have any spine issues no, no? you feel good now oh, yeah. okay so i mean the one thing that i would I would recommend if you wanted to get a little bit more distance and you wanted to calm down that block or that hooky move, they both go hand in hand. It's the same pattern, right? One of them, the face is turning over more. The other one, the face is not turning over, right? right? Mm -hmm. The one thing I would recommend is you get a little bit more on top. So you're going to do that. You would do that by getting a little bit more body involvement. And the feel would be that your arms are not moving down in front of your chest quite as fast, that you're pushing more into your arm and allowing your turn more time to develop before you feel the club coming down. So it's a bit of a delay. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'll give you that feel. Set up for me. Go up to the top of your backswing. Okay. When we start coming down, mm -hmm. start turning your, your chest down. So you see how now that arm and that bicep is stretching into your pec? Mm -hmm. See how the club feels more behind? Yeah. Okay. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Now, if you look at it here, that's pretty close to on plane, mm -hmm. right? I and mean, your swing's getting back here. Yeah. That's pretty close to on plane. And that's happening because you're allowing your body time to get your hands out in transition. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, I mean, the, the, the one feel I would recommend for you is that you allow your body to do more work for you. So the feel I would give you is putting this head cover underneath your arm a little bit, mm -hmm. right there. Okay. Yeah. Now set up. Mm -hmm. okay. Head up to the top. Now, try and hold that in in transition. It's going to be weird. Keep it in there. There you go. Boom. You can let that head cover go flying through impact, yeah. right? Because you want to feel that the club is going to release as you're getting your, as, as you're getting your arms and your hands close to the golf ball. <coughs> that makes sense? Yeah. Okay. So give me one, one swing with that. Let's see you do it. There you go. There you go. Now, put it back in there. It's going to be awkward, Oh yeah. <laughs> but let's try and hit a golf ball. Pretty blocky. So what does that tell you you didn't do? And you didn't turn your body fast enough, right? Feel your body's moving faster in that situation. So you, if, you're, if you think you're looking at the target, that would imply that you have a lot of rotation in your golf swing, right? Because to get the head looking out there, like if you look at Max's swing, at impact, his head is already at the target, right? But his chest is hoping yeah. 70 degrees, right? But you feel that, but in reality, you get in here, you pull your arms down, you get the club underneath plane pretty hard. So someone somewhere along in your lifetime said, to hit a draw, you have to have the path in to out. Mm -hmm. And you took that and went really into out, okay? What is, what is your miss? Uh, usually a, a hard fade or a hard slice, yeah. Okay. So one that starts over there and Start, goes. Starts right and goes yes. more right. So or, it's a push. Yeah. Yep. So 
that makes total sense. Your, your path is under, there's no rotation, and your face is open, okay? okay? And you're trying to square it up through impact. And, and nothing wrong with this, yeah. but I'm guessing when you hit one, you don't have quite as much distance as you would love. There's, there, there's more in the tank when I look at that swing than, yep. than you're getting yep. out of it, yep. okay? And that happens because once you get into impact, you sit here, and this all stalls out and moves this way, and your only way to get it through is to just throw the hand, right? So if you look at a lot of my really good kids, tour players that I work with, they get in here, boom, and then their arms just fling off their chest through impact, yeah. okay? So to put you in that position, first of all, we have to control the face. Now, the, the hard part for you, a lot of times when you have a player with an open face, you change their grip, hey, the face isn't open anymore. Yeah. Yeah. The hard part for you is you like to go, as you're coming down, into extension of the lead wrist. So you see how it's moved into this angle? That's what's opening the club face. If I take this, and I extend it, see how it opens? Mm -hmm. If I flex it, see how it closes? Mm -hmm. So you're working towards extension. So the first feel we have to work on to put you in a position not to make that move with your body is get you in a position where you keep that club face square. So go ahead and grip it. Go up to the top for me. You're, you're, you're neutral, but no, nope, do it again. Go up there, I wanna show you something. You have a neutral grip, but it's slightly strong. Now look at this wrist angle here. Yeah. See how that's extended? Yeah. Watch this. Boom. See how it's see how it's flatter now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now if we keep that and we just turn, that wants to be pretty square, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. If we go here, it's wide open. Mm -hmm. So I want you to concentrate in your downswing, and we're not going to hit a golf ball in the beginning. Go up for me. Get that thing flat, flatter than that. There you go. It might make you feel like you have a slightly shorter backswing. Mm -hmm. That's okay. And then keep it flatter, or even flexing down a little bit in your downswing and then turn your chest through. Do it slow, do it slow. Really slow, flat, flatter than that. Gotta be a little flatter than that. Go up and stop. There you go. Keep that flat, now rotate through. Beautiful, that's the feel I want you to mess with. So the way you're gonna get that feel down, right, is hitting little bunts. Feel like you're gonna go at it like 30% and just try and hit, that's a nine iron, 40 yard shots, just bunting it out there, okay? Hey guys, if you like this video, please like and comment. I come out with new content every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thanks a lot, you guys.